What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Villages, Florida. No. No? Where are we? We're not even in that state, Jose. We're in Maine. Maine? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Bath, Maine. Take a bath, Maine. This guy's a Floridian, too. Yeah. What the crap is going on here? What the crap is going on here with all these Floridians? I guess when it gets to the summertime in Florida, people come up here. Come to Maine. Mm -hmm. And it is beautiful weather today. 71. Okay. Well, welcome to Maine. We're going to explore Bath. Now, this is... Uh, Maine's not a state with a lot of population. It's a small population state. And this town, you know, Maine's known for their connection with fishing and boat boat production they make boats here yeah <coughs> so we're going to explore bath tiny little town in maine and see what it's about looks beautiful mm -hmm. but we live all the way in florida katie what do you do for a living in florida I am a realtor. My name is Katie, but I'm legally Catherine Rodriguez Ochoa. I'm with Keller Williams Suncoast in Lakewood Ranch, Florida, which is in the Sarasota Bradenton area. And you can get, if you want to purchase a home in Florida, you can get in touch with me at 239 239 440 440 71 71 73 73 mm hmm. Katie, so if anybody's looking for a house anywhere between Citrus County, Crystal River, all the way down to Naples, yeah. we've lived in Southwest Florida for roughly over 20 years, which means we are the people you need if you're thinking about moving to the state. I. <laughs> There's no we in this? No. You're the realtor. Just this YouTube channel. Oh, okay. I am the realtor. <laughs> are you a realtor or a realtor or a realtor? Realtor? Realtor. Realtor? Or Realtor? Realtor. Realtor? Or Tur? Yes, I am nationally registered in the National She's Association. She's part of the National Rifle Association. No! <laughs> that is a whole other thing. What are you part of then? National Association of Realtors. NRA. NAR. What's the difference? Two different subjects. Not the same, quite literally? No. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look at the cold school convertible. So you're not part of the NRA? I am not a member of the NRA. But you are a member of the AR NAR National yeah. Rifle Association. Yeah. Um. What are you doing? This isn't like comedy. I struggle with acronyms. Okay. Let, leave me with the acronyms. Okay. What's an acronym? Whatever it is, don't use it. <coughs> well, fine. If anybody wants to buy a dang house in Florida, they can talk, not to me, but to, to me. her. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful little town with a very elaborate history in boat manufacturing mm -hmm. as well as fishing. Beautiful. Well preserved town is in good shape. So one way, I guess, you know. I love how they are locked. It's a one way in one direction. That makes perfect sense. So under the other yard are the shipyards, shipyards that this town at one point had 200 individuals 
making ships. That's a lot of ship making. No, that's for sure. <coughs> I think the car finally starting to get, get away. At least last night with that medicine. Thing is, I haven't been taking medicine, period. It's just the last night I decided to take medicine for it. A market. Okay. Went across the bridge on the other side. I think go to a place called um, the main something. Go on the other side. And from there, we'll head to Starbucks. We got new Tonda rep. I'm not trying to try this right now. Anyway. Can't wait to pay this thing off so I can get into that debt. Can't wait to get out of one debt to get in another one. This is a gorgeous little town on the main coast. But the population here hasn't grown since the 1940s. Kind of a theme here in this part of Maine. Population stagnation. Not really a lot. Is this one way? Population stagnation, unfortunately. Okay. Shipyards here at one point were 200. Making boats, military, civilian vessels. For the fishing industry, the heart of Maine and their economy. Mm -hmm. GPS uh, getting us on the other side? Yeah, I got you. Hmm. Your channel hit a thousand subscribers. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. How come people like you more than they like me? You got gorgeous little park that's overlooking now. What's this guy selling hot dogs? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I hit a thousand subscribers today. <coughs> Who's like that? They're selling hot dogs at the park. That's cool. Come to the little park, grab a hot dog. Or a hot dog. I don't know how you pronounce that. Yeah. Or a hard dog. Look at that. Nice little park here. Mm -hmm. Overlooking the water. Yeah. Alright, so they're selling hot dogs. Grab a hot dog. Grab it. They have these little shares. You can hang out here overlooking the water. Beautiful coast of Maine. Mm -hmm. Get her, Midwoody. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The reason this town's called Bath is because people here are encouraged to take a bath. When people from other parts of Maine come here, the locals encourage them to take a bath because this is a decent area. And as people from other little small towns in Maine come over here, they don't take a bath. So when they come here, they know they have to take a bath before they come to this town, something that they're not used to doing in other parts of Maine. Okay, the real reason it's called Bath is because people are baffled by the fact people don't take a bath. Okay. The real reason it's so called Bath is because there's a town in England called Bath, and the original settlers of this town were from Bath. Your turn. Your turn. Look at that bridge. Isn't that just... Imagine, this is, this, you know what I like about this town? There are so many places you can just hang out. Like, look at this part right here. Yeah. You can just hang out here. You can just hang out here underneath this bridge. There's just some parking lots here. Oh! Okay. What did you do? You're not supposed to be... There's like a drop-off there. Okay. Yeah. So you How know, much of a drop-off? It's more than our car can handle. I guess this isn't really a place you're supposed to be driving. <laughs> I wanted to show them underneath that bridge so they can look at the bridge. But hold on. I kind of messed up here. Wait, there's parking spots on this side, but not that side. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I think I noticed that we were got stuck there. There's so many just cool places staying out here. Yeah. I'm gonna show them the old bridge. If you go around the bridge, you can get on the bridge. Let me see, in which direction? That direction, because you can't go that way. No, the boat, okay, Katie. Mm -hmm. Siri thinks that we could just fly up into the bridge. Mm -hmm. In theory, that would be cool, but in reality, that's not practical. Mm -hmm. I love how you're giving me directions like if we were on top of the bridge, we're underneath it. Mm -hmm. We're not underneath the bridge. Siri somehow thinks that we could just fly over the bridge. Hmm. I was supposed to show them the bridge, but I won't. Turn left onto Lambert Street, then turn left onto Front Street. Yeah, let's try from here. Mm -hmm. Turn left here. 
Yeah, Sirius just assumed that we could fly. They have a stop sign or no? Sirius just assumed that we could fly into the bridge. Yeah, that's not right. Front Street, then turn left. <laughs> I like it like that. I like it like that. I like my hot dog. Another Floridian? Okay. Where are all these Floridians coming from? Florida would make sense. Hey, what's wagon? What's wagon? I, I really don't like how in this town you can't see around the curve. Okay, so what are we doing here, Katie? Talk to me. You're going on the bridge. Drew this way and then around. This town's traffic patterns are very confusing. Yeah. We're gonna hop on the other side and then we'll hop back over and then we'll leave. Turn yeah. left. Commercial Street, then turn left onto Commercial Street. Where that truck is doing. Okay. This town has the most confusing. Turn left onto Commercial Street, then take the US 1 north ramp on the left. Absolutely confusing roadways I've ever seen in town of America. Take the US 1 north ramp. I'm sure they have a lot of little accidents here. Turn left onto the US 1 north. It's so nice to be in Canada. On the other bridge. I think it's been decommissioned. I'm not seeing other cars. On Continue there. on US one north off. for one mile. We want to go left here. We want to go that way. We want to go like the one we came in that way. I will say this: once you're um kind of head outside of city limits, it kind of degrades fairly quickly into kind of rural areas that are not. That, I wouldn't say rural, I would just say wooded areas that aren't as attractive. So kind of, it's kind of nice in the town. Like once you get like a little bit out, out of town, it kind of it goes kind of uh, not as fancy. There's a Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. You know why they're called Dairy Queen? Because they have dairy and their queen. Okay. Like the Queen City. Charlotte, North Carolina. Katie, what does living in Southwest Florida offer people? Beaches. Warm, Warm. weather. <laughs> yeah. Is this the way we came? Go to GPS at Starbucks and get us out here? Sure. Let's get out. There's a famous restaurant over here. It's got a big giant. Lobster. lobster on the roof is what I'm looking for. But I can't find it. This is definitely a neat little area. Here it is. Ha <laughs> ha, there it is. There it is. It's open. Yeah, of course, but we're not going to eat lobster in the morning. We're not eating the lobsters in the morning. We're not having lobster for breakfast. Maybe later on today. But anyways, this is a famous restaurant here in the city. like a big attraction in this town. Look at the river. Gorgeous main coast, man. Mm -hmm. It's a shame we have to leave this gorgeous place. But we shall depart. Mm -hmm. Head northeast on US 1 North toward George Wright Road. This is now depart. Mm -hmm into other places that are more placey. Mm -hmm. So how far from Starbucks two minutes? Yeah. That's the part. In a quarter mile, turn right onto George Wright Road.
dang it, traffic. I really don't like the way traffic's laid out in the city. Like here on the left, you have to look really carefully because the cars that are oncoming on the left are rolling over a hill. So you only have like so much time to determine if they're going to run you over or not. Oh, there is a little one, but whatever. We're off. So if you ever want to move to a town where people used to build ships in the past and just sell lobsters now, this would be it. And if you want to leave this town because you're tired of lobsters and boats and stuff like that, talk to Katie. I think it's a beautiful town. No, this is definitely like a whole different speed yeah. of life here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Canadians really know how to make a town. Oh, Jose, this is in the U.S. We're in, we're in the United States right now. It looks like Canada. No. <laughs> this... What's up with all these medical... These people here must have a lot of health problems. How many medical agencies do they need to sell the same type of medicine? These people here must have serious medical conditions. Okay. They sure have a lot of uh, medical ailments around here. Look at that view from here. Wow. Yeah, this is gorgeous. in my life. Yeah. The reason it's called bath main is you need to take a bath, man. Jose. Turn up the bottom of your phone. I can't hear it when I talk. It hasn't made any noises. It hasn't made noises. It did make noises earlier. You're just on this road for a really long time. It's called bath main because people from Bath, England moved here. Look at the pill powder. Yes. Two of them. I've seen more cops in this town in Maine than I have in the whole time we're in Canada. It's like Canada, they don't need cops because it's people are safe. They don't need to be patrolled. They are not needing to break the law to begin with. I like Canada. Have a very warm summer and mild winters. Their mild winters attract a lot of people. And they're. What? Do you like the mild winters in Canada? Mild winters in Canada? Yeah. Canada is the winter wonderland. I thought Kentucky was a winter wonderland. Wherever it snows. They have mild winters. Okay. Everybody can tell me wait till winter time on um, my Canada video, so when I guess they have they're renowned for their mild winters. Uh yeah, I think about being the opposite. We'll see. No, summers are mild too. Why don't you look at the pollution? 
races where we were and look for the average snowfall. A few inches at once. Kind of like Alabama. Lower Alabama. How much police does a town of 10,000 people need? Apparently a crap load of them. That's the thing about the United States. I guess he's just doing some road maintenance for me. That's not about the United States. It's like... You know you're in the safest state in the United States, allegedly. But we're gonna, I don't know, who knows. Statistics are just where allegedly it's the safest, according to Nick Johnson and Briggs, it's the safest place in the world in America. Alright, guys, that's a beautiful little town of Take a Bath, Maine. A ma Bath, Maine. Maine Bath. I like it. Yeah, mellow. Look at the water. Rocky coastline. Fishing opportunities here must be awesome. Canada geese. Canada geese. Great. Beautiful place. Come on.